my internet. I'm Jordan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about can you still be friends? And on this matter I might not have as much experience as some people but I've had two such instances where I've personally said let's say friends but before we get to that, I would like to s start with the whole reason with a few cases where it might not. One, depending on how long you were together, it might be still too raw and you can't be friends right away. Or, and two, you were depending on how, and the and how close you are I if you've dated like for a week then sure be, you continue being friends because you you're not together long enough to develop that emotional bond unless you were in love with him or her for months before you actually started dating. De and depending on why you broke up is also a factor of why it, to this question. If, say, your partner or even you broke up because you cheated or did something that the other, that the other didn't like, then yeah, you're... Then don't be friends. <laughs> Alright, for... in, But... If you broke off because of mutual discussions or decide... If it was a long dis... You just... It was a long distance or you got together for all the wrong reasons. But you had a strong friendship before you started getting together, then I think it's possible for my first instance where it didn't work out. I dated the person for, I believe it was over, like a little bit over a year. Where we were together until, this was in high school, we started dating in my sophomore year and didn't and broke off I think the summer before my senior year. My ex, which I will give keep my his privacy by say, saying that he he was just a wet he how describe him he he really liked the Resident Evil games and decide and liked the character Wesker. I'm sure most of you see where this is going. He was a he cosplayed as him all the f time. I think I've ha didn't actually see him wear jeans the whole relationship we were together. Even though I think I got him some. He was it was a cargo pa black cargo pants or blue camo cargo pants like a vest I'm not sure if what happens now but it was a few years back but yeah I it was I didn't see where we were going and so I attempted to break up with him a few times before we actually did break up. Um, and so, but I used the can we could still be friends as a way to let him down easy. And, and for a few for a couple weeks, 
we went back to friends, but the raw emotion for being together for that long kind of kind of hurt, so I slowly stopped seeing him more and more. And I my affections for somebody else that I had that would be my next boyfriend who will be the other example for this because I since I was w with him for lit close to three years I think like we were a few months shy but but yeah we during I was I was older so and had to start we started dating when I was a senior and he was a sophomore. So, so I so during the year that we were both in high school, it was a pretty nice relationship. A few a few little misunderstandings, but what relationship doesn't have fighting to do somewhere? But anyways, Near the end of our relationship, it just seemed like we were having the same fight over and over again, which it was understandable, but if the fight continues to do something like that, it's pretty much a sign that you are you need to break up and take a breather. and. We weren't exactly friend. We didn't. We. It was not the best breakup. But the we the phrase "Can we be friends?" came up again, but it was awkward since we were together for a lot longer. And then. I th it was close to my birthday at the time, so I was a little heartbroken when we actually did break up because I think the last straw was he wouldn't come up to see me at school to do lunch with me. But, yeah. It's all under the bridge now since we made up af like four months after our we had stopped talking. One, because I had moved around a little bit to where I am now. So, at about four months, actually during a church service about forgiveness, I had been thinking about him for a couple of days, like wondering if he was okay. So, and I hadn't deleted his number off my phone yet because I procrastinate a lot. And well, I'd sh shoot him a I shot him a text say, with, I think it was like a, hi, um, how are you? I'm not sure if you, this is your, you still have this number, this is, Jordan, um, I'm sorry how things ended, and so yeah, it it, ha it was an intense like hour after that text because it's kind of hard to know whether how the other person will respond. He could have if he'd moved on or something or hated my guts at that point, could have easily have said, not replied at all, and, and I would have known that, no, we cannot return to be friends, or even just try getting to know each other again. But he did, and we chatted, it was awkward for the first, for like a month or so after we started talking again, but we are made, kind of major role players 
Um, let me explain. This, like, it, we like to write stories to each other. It was one of the things that we did, we did, and we still do. Some of them are sexual, sure, but that's, that's for another episode. But, yes, in that case, we could still be friends, but we need the break, a break to have our feelings get out of the way. And, and yeah, we, there's still some of those strong feelings that makes it a little bit curious about whether we could still be together. But it was, and we've talked about this, but nothing's set in stone since I live in Oregon and he lives in Washington. So the distance thing is not something we're going to do, but we still hang out and talk almost every day. And in this instance, we, yes, we could be friends. So, the an so answer is, depending on your, your relationship with this person, how long you were together, and what caused your breakup, the answer should be obvious to you, but, but if you need help with it, or if you're just be brave and, and, and go for at least trying to make, to reach out, it might not always be a good response, but at least you tried and no one can fault you for that. And that is all I have to say for this matter. Um, I will give you a quick view of my room because I've just realized you've only seen me in the craft room and about here in when I do have a, my webcam on, so here are my windows. I helped put up the blinds. There's my my dresser and mirrors, which and my artwork, which the two in this corner my mom actually painted. The one on, up top my aunt painted, and then a poster I've had that my godmother gave me when I was six. My calendar that about sunset this year. Another painting my my mom painted, and and then a painting that came with the room, but and I kind of liked. So I didn't actually take it down. Oh yeah, my my bookshelf, a picture of me, my cousin, a picture of my parents when they were when they first got together. Basically, just a little bit of color to in the room to brighten it up from this white. Oh, and you might have seen my basket of scarves in the corner. Um, so that's, that's it. And please subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more. Give me a thumbs up if you'd like this video. And, and I will see you next time. Bye!